the Sunday Night Anthem, delivered by Uber Eats. on this final Sunday of September and 44 miles to the south we're at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara where the San Francisco 49ers take the field Jimmy Garoppolo has his team off to a good start and in tonight's home opener into town come Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers on Sunday night football Al Michaels, Chris Collinsworth to show the four of the Niners on the road to start the season victories against Detroit Philadelphia. This team went to the Super Bowl two years ago. Last season, just an injury rack mess. But it's a good team in a tough division and a very good early season litmus test tonight in Santa Clara. Against the Packers, who laid an egg in their opener against the Saints, and then rebounded Monday night to beat Detroit. Of course, all offseason, it was all about the Aaron Rodgers drama. Who they are is going to come into sharper focus tonight on this field behind me, Chris. And you know, what do you see when you come into focus through your lens? What about the Packers? You know, I think Green Bay has all the fantasy football positions covered, you know, quarterback, running back, wide receiver. But when you come in here and play against the 49ers, you have to try and win with toughness, both on the offensive line and on the defensive line. Question is, can Green Bay come in here and win a fist fight? It's going to be a big challenge, especially for this new-look offensive line. Forget last year, as they say, injury rack to the 49ers. 2-0 right now. What are the keys to bouncing back all the way? Well, we know the 49ers can win a running, ball control kind of game. That's the way they want to play. But can they win in a shootout against Aaron Rodgers? Is Jimmy Garoppolo now ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the MVP? I think we're about to find out. Gorgeous night in the Bay Area. Fourth time these teams have met since the beginning of 2019. It's Green Bay and San Francisco next on Sunday Night Football. Sunday Night Football is brought to you by the all-new Hyundai Tucson, our best Tucson ever. And by Untuck It, shirts designed to be worn untucked. Untuckit.com. You'll be seeing the game like never before with the Walmart Plus 4K Skycam. Get more out of game day with Walmart Plus, a membership with free same-day delivery on fresh groceries and more. This fall, a new journey begins, filled with remarkable stories, leading to a moment when, for the first time in history, the two biggest events in the world will take place together. It will be once in a lifetime. NBC Sports, home of Super Bowl 56, welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. Man, these teams have a lot in common. Storied histories, young architects on offense, the elephants in the room, uh, both their rooms. The MVP, who seems like he could just use a little more love. <laughs> Too easy. 
and this guy, who was brought in to be the guy and still is. Well, until the new guy is ready to be the guy himself. Did you get all that? But hey, what else can they do besides what they do best? Remember, winning solves everything, and there's no better time to win than Sunday night. The elephant's in the room, ready for action. But first, to the field we go, and Michelle Tafoya. Michelle. Well, Al, last season, the 49ers tied for the NFL's worst home record, 1-7. and seven. But there's an asterisk. In December, the team was forced to move to Arizona because of local COVID mandates. So the Niners haven't played a regular season game here at Levi's Stadium in 325 days. And the last time they played in front of their fans here, the 2019 NFC Championship game 20 months ago, in which they beat the Green Bay Packers. Kyle Shanahan told me players who were rookies last year are getting their first taste of what he called the power of the NFL stadium. And he said, that power will be that much stronger here. Our fans have had to sit and wait. I know we're going to feel them tonight. And George Kittle put it to me this way. The fans will be bonkers. This will be a complete madhouse. And to get things rolling, one of the captains of that 2019 NFC Championship team, retired left tackle Joe Staley, who's about to sound the ceremonial foghorn. Come on, get on, I can't hear you! Come on! So great to have the fans back. We did two games in empty stadiums here last year. Matt LaFleur has taken his team in his two years as head coach at Green Bay to the NFC Championship game each time losing to San Francisco and Tampa Bay. Niners won the toss. They defer, and off we go with the Packers receiving the opening kickoff, and we start with a touchback. Aaron Rodgers, Duke Community College. Aaron Jones, El Paso, Texas. Devontae Adams, Fresno State. Mark Flair's out there at Stanley, Lakewood High School. Mercedes Lewis, UCLA. Robert Tunyon, McHenry, East Campus. Josh Schneidman, Virginia Tech. John Runyon, Michigan. Josh Myers, Ohio State. Roy Sneeman, Ole Miss. Billy Turner, North Dakota State. And then... Jimmy Garoppolo, Eastern Illinois. Trey Seven, Ohio State. Kyle Juszczyk. Harvard. Debo Samuel, University of South Carolina. Brandon Ayu, Arizona State. George Kittle, Titan University. Trent Williams, University of Oklahoma. Lincoln Tomlinson. Duke. Alex Mack, University of California. Daniel Brunskill, San Diego State. Mike McGlinchey, Notre Dame. Dean Lowry, Northwestern. Kenny Clark, UCLA. Kings Kiki, Texas A&M. Rashawn Gary, Michigan. Chris Barnes, UCLA. Devondre Campbell, Minnesota. Preston Smith, Stevenson High School. Jair Alexander, the University of Louisville. Adrian Amos, Baltimore, Maryland. Donna Savage Jr., Maryland. Aristotle Jr., Georgia. 